Hey everyone, welcome back to BMW Blog. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, the car landscape is changing. We are seeing more and more electric cars enter the car market. BMW has been making electric cars now for over a decade, starting with the i3 and the i8, and now we're seeing the i4, the i5, the i7, the iX, and soon we'll be seeing even more electric cars made by BMW in the near future over the next few years. So one of the big things that when it comes to electric car ownership is that you're really buying into a completely new infrastructure, uh, not just a new means of propulsion. And one of the biggest things uh, when it comes to EV ownership is trying to get EV charging where you live. Now it is possible you can just plug into a regular traditional 120 volt outlet, um, but that is a very slow trickle charge. And for the size of the batteries in a lot of these EVs, you're not really gonna get a lot of meaningful range added each day. Uh, but if you can get a good level two AC charger in your garage or in your apartment complex that you have easy access to, it makes EV ownership actually a real joy because you're able to get enough range added overnight or within a couple hours that you're not having to worry about going to fill up at a gas station. You could just get to go to where you need to go and then come home, charge up overnight while you're not driving and you pretty much never have to worry about range anxiety. Now this particular charger I wanted to talk about, uh, we partnered with Enphase uh, who provided this charger here and this is their IQ EV charger. They have four different models that range from 32 amps, 40 amps, 48 amps, or even up to 64. Now this particular unit is their IQ60. This is a 48 amp charger, which means for most EVs, you can get between about nine to 11 kilowatts of charging capacity, which is actually pretty good. So depending on your EV battery size, you're able to get, and the efficiency of the car as well, you're able to get actually a meaningful amount of range added within just a couple hours. Um, in this particular case, I have found with the i4 eDrive 35 that I've had this week, I'm averaging between about four to almost five miles per kilowatt hour. So for every kilowatt hour of battery, I'm getting four to five miles of range out of that. What does that mean? Well, because this is supplying about over nine kilowatts of charging capacity, that every hour I charge, I'm getting between about 35 to 45 miles of range added, which is pretty good. Um, when you consider the average commute for most Americans is under 40 miles per day, you can get enough to commute within an hour and then within two to three hours, you've got enough to kind of run around town, get errands done, take a short road trip. And I've actually found I'm able to charge this particular car with a 68 kilowatt hour usable battery in actually about five hours. Uh, which again, for a level two AC charger, not bad. This particular charger, like I said, Enphase doesn't just make EV chargers. They have kind of a whole catalog of products for basically your home electrical infrastructure. So EV chargers, solar panels, uh, as well as battery storage for your home. And what's nice about the Enphase charger is that it, it basically ends up uh, being able to kind of incorporate with uh, that whole ecosystem. So. With the Enphase app, which is very well made and very easy to navigate, very easy to use, it took me, I think, literally three minutes to set up, so no issues there. With all of that, there's quite a bit of customization that this charger allows you to have when it comes to charging. It's not simply that you can just plug it in and it starts charging the car. You can set it up that way if you want, but you can also schedule your charging if you would like. If electric rates where you live are significantly higher during the day, during peak demand, you can schedule it so that your car will only start charging at a specific time and it will shut off and stop charging at a specific time. So if you know that you're only gonna be driving 50 miles a day, maybe 60 miles, you might set this up so that it'll only charge between three to 5 a.m. when energy costs less, which is really nice that you can do that through the app. Another thing about this charger that I really like is that it is a NEMA 4 housing. And basically what that means is there's NEMA 3 and NEMA 4. NEMA 3 is basically meaning that it's not fully weatherproofed and that it's something that should be kept inside. Now I do have this in my garage, but if you wanted to store this outside, you can do that. Uh, and it does come with this little holster here that basically holds your EV charger. This is technically installed upside down. It's fine. It kind of worked with the way I have my garage set up, so I'm not too upset about it. The other thing that I really like about this charging cable is that it's quite long, which is great because for this tandem garage, wherever I seem to park, whether I park facing out towards the street or this way, 
It doesn't matter what side the charging port is on, this will give you enough length to be able to get to wherever your charging port is, where your car is parked in the garage. So it gives you some flexibility. You don't have to worry about having your car parked a specific way just to be able to access the charger. Haven't had any issues there. The cable is not too stiff. Some cables can be very stiff and kind of hard to manage, especially in colder weather. I haven't had to worry about colder weather here. It's Southern California. It's always like 60, 70 degrees outside. So far, cable's been great. No issues. Every time I've plugged it in, it just gets charging right away. And then again, there are these lights here that'll basically let you know whether or not you're charging, if there was any kind of power fault or issues with charging. So far, like I said, it's worked flawlessly, which is better than I can say about some chargers, especially some public level two AC chargers that have trouble communicating or connecting. This just works and it's been great. It's got this built-in little housing here that basically helps you just roll up your cable for cable management so it's not strewn out all over the garage. Everything else is done through the app and the Enphase app so far. It's been really nice. You can track your charging, um, your live charging session, see how much energy you used over the course of a week or a month, um, just to kind of give you an idea of roughly what your energy bill might look like, or again, just to see again what kind of your energy usage is for your EVs. And you can actually even limit the charging slower than what you would like for whatever reason. Uh, again, I've accepted this. I've had it set up so that it'll do the full 48 amp charging. Uh, but if you want to lower it to 40 or 32, you can do that. Now, uh, this is the IQ60. There are other models. So depending on what your home is set up for or business, if you can only accept 40 amps or 32 amps, they do have models that are lower power outputs for those particular cases, but they also sell a 64 amp model. So if your home or business is set up to actually be able to accept 64 amps, lucky you, but they also have a charger for that. This particular one, I believe it retails for 1099. It's worked great. It's been really nice to have so that I can really go ahead and test this i4 out.